It is 934 and we're going behind the bricks and into the process of getting the Indianapolis Motor Speedway ready for the cold. So IMS social media specialist Zach Horrell joins us again this week. And this week's episode is all about what happens when the cars aren't on the track. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the questions that we get most at the Speedway is, well, what do you guys do the rest of the year? And quite frankly, you know, being an outdoor facility, there's so much that has to happen. You know, we race until middle to, to late October. And then even before then, um, our facilities team is working full speed to prepare our track for the winter so that, you know, we can make it through the winter so that the weather doesn't damage anything, frozen pipes, anything like that. And um, you know, because we're such a big facility, it takes so long. And then by the time they get it finished up, it's time to turn it all back on again. See, I didn't even think about the track having to get ready for winter because I've been so consumed with me <laughs> having to right. get ready for winter. So it's really interesting that all those steps need to be taken as we go into the frigid months to make sure that it's ready and rocking and rolling by spring next year. So speaking of rocking and rolling, talk about the restroom operations. So there's a ton of plumbing to maintain. Yeah, so there's uh, about 2,000 toilets. Um, a couple thousand faucets and about 1,500 urinals. So you're looking at about 4,000 pieces of just plumbing um, that have to be shut down between restrooms, concession stands, kitchens, all that stuff because most of it really has an outside focus. Um, and so, you know, whenever we start going through the process of shutting that down, um, it's really a small team. And, and mm -hmm. Adrian, who we include uh, in this episode, she's really the, the main impetus that really kind of gets that all taken down. Yeah, that's that's impressive. That's a lot of plumbing yeah. to maintain. And I pray that y'all never have no crazy major issues because <laughs> that's a lot of cleanup. But how do switching gears, how do crews prepare the kitchen during the winter? So uh, really, you know, we we work with a lot of uh, third party uh, people that really uh, operate the kitchen on a day to day basis. Mm -hmm. So then when we're done for the season, they really come and they take all of their equipment um, out and they kind of house it in their facilities. Uh -huh. And then after they take all of that out, then we come in um, and we shut it down with the water and the lighting and stuff like that. Because um, it's also, it, you know, it saves money and energy and it's mm -hmm. a lot more efficient when you shut it down, too. Yeah. And IMS President Doug Bowles got down and dirty for this <laughs> week's episode. Let's take a look. So we're going to get in the pit. I kind of like to do stuff, and I love tunnels at the speedway. You mind if I put on a sweatshirt and try this out? Yeah, definitely. I, I'll, I'm not sure I can do your work, but I want to <laughs> see. And then if I can't do it, then we'll send you back down. Yep, that works it. for All me. All right, well, here we go. So we just got to turn the drain down valve, let the water run out, and then you climb out so you don't get wet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What kind of bugs do you find down here? Um, and that's about it. That so you'll have to watch and listen to the podcast to see what Doug finds down there. And Zach, thank you so much for coming in and giving us all the information about what happens as the track transitions into a new season as well. Hey, it's our pleasure. And now the next time somebody asks you, hey, what are they doing at the end of the Smoke Speedway the rest of the year? You know exactly what to say. I know exactly what to say. Thank you so much. I thank appreciate you. it. The time right now is 937. And it's